This is the story of a woman and a community. The woman is Trudy Marshall. The community is East Orange, New Jersey, a place Trudy Marshall has called home all her life. It's a small, close community of hardworking, decent people who know your business but mind their own. Neighbors here are like family, and there's no one in the neighborhood considered more like family than Trudy Marshall. She's just a down-to-earth, nice person. If you need something, you're sick, or you got problems, she's right there. With Trudy so often helping with people's problems, it wasn't unusual. They nominated her to run against three other women for the Neighborhood Community Development Board of Directors. You know, you've done a beautiful job. Beautiful job. We've been... With so much support, it wasn't unusual that Trudy beat the other three women candidates. What is unusual is that Trudy isn't a woman at all. I am a transsexual. A male homosexual or a transsexual. Trudy never tried to hide her sexual identity. Her beautician's license states it clearly. Her real name is Alvin Gatlin. Trudy was open, even as a youngster, about accepting her problems, so she found people open to accepting her as a person. I would dress in my mother's clothes when she wasn't there. Well, we just accepted her in the neighborhood, you know. We just accepted Alvin as he was. I didn't uh, do any sports, and I jumped broke with the girls. She thinks she's a real woman. They didn't understand, and I didn't quite understand, although I knew I was different. I always caught, figured as a girlfriend. Back 25 years ago, it was very hard being gay. You were actually persecuted. I've had to run like a criminal and jump fences just because I had lipstick and wore my hair curls like I was a gangster or a hold-up man or a mug or something. Trudy's parents, however, could not accept it and to their dying days called her Alvin. Her parents' rejection and medical cures that never worked at first left Trudy feeling bewildered and alone. I have felt cheated. If I said I haven't, I, would, I wouldn't be telling the truth. But Trudy had to survive. The only work open to her was singing as a female impersonator and 25 years later, she still loves to belt out some of those lyrics which have a special meaning to her. Because it makes no difference how I carry on. Just remember, please don't talk about me when I'm gone. I guess it's, it's just uh, something that happens. Uh, we, you know, the same reason somebody can be born blind or, or with some disability. It's nothing they can help. And if someone's born blind, then they have to make the best out of a rough situation. And that's the way it is. Just remember, please don't talk about me when I'm gone. In her 50 years, there've been a lot of rough moments for Trudy and finally and fully accepting herself was probably the roughest. She felt if more repressed gays followed her example and recognized their sexuality, they would probably also be happier. So she began coaxing them out of the closet to throw parties, and they came out dressed to kill. Some of these young men looked beautiful, and some were just dressed to kill. In New Jersey, over 25 years ago, Trudy Marshall was the first to organize these odd carnivals. They're called gay balls, an institutionalized havoc now amongst gays and transsexuals, a time for these men to forget their troubles and literally let their hair down. In these gay balls, they compete for prizes as best dressed Fifth Avenue shopper, best 40s fashion, most elegant, and for the grand prize, the most stunning wardrobe. Everyone wants to be treated equal and, and treated fairly and allowed as long as they're not breaking any laws or doing any harm to anyone, uh, then we should all be allowed to live our separate lives and the way we feel, see fit. Trudy Marshall is a godmother to these people. She's helped them survive in a world often too hasty in passing judgment. To show their thanks for her support and encouragement, she and her partner Mina Lang were the guests of honor at this year's ball. I don't know where to begin. It's been terrific. And we did finally come. The time has come when all of us have to give. The gay population of East Orange, New Jersey is less than 10%, but when Trudy was elected to the Board of Directors of the Community Development Corporation, she received over 70% of the vote. When asked why the straight voters also gave her such a majority, one voter said, to me, the word straight means honest, open, and caring. And in that respect, he added, 
There's no one around here straighter than Trudy Marshall. Everywhere it seems very clear There's a reason, a reason why we all are here If we believe that the world is one We can live Love conquers all.